Hello friends, let's understand what is AI computer vision. Okay, so AI stands for artificial intelligence. So let me give you an example before we understand what it is. Let me ask you one question. Let's say you go to Google and simply type input form. Okay, simply type input form in Google and go to the images. Okay, click on images. So you'll find lot many input forms, let's say. Okay. Now here let me open one of the input form. Now this input form has got multiple elements. Okay. Now if I ask you what are the elements available in this form? Okay. What are the text available in, in this form? So whatever content you want to retrieve from an image, how will you do it in, in UiPath? So that is where this artificial intelligence computer vision comes into picture. So what this does, this will take the picture wherever if you indicate this is the picture I want to understand. So you indicate this particular picture, it will take that picture and it will analyze using artificial intelligence. Okay, so it will recognize where the text is, what the text is, it is going to automatically do it for you. Automatically, you don't have to do anything, you just have to know how to use the activity. Drag and drop the activity, indicate the element, it will do the job for you. Okay, so that is what is very, very important that you have to learn about AI computer vision. Okay, so that is a simple example I have given. Now, let, let us understand little bit in deeper. Okay, so what is AI computer vision? It's a feature that visually identifies all the elements just like a human being right when we look at we understand right so it will visually identifies all the elements rather than relying on selectors or images so it doesn't rely on anything it will try to visually identify okay like a human being so that is what is artificial intelligence computer vision is all about it enables human like recognition of user interfaces okay and the third point is this uses a mix of artificial intelligence, optical character recognition, text fuzzy matching and an anchoring system to tie it all together. So there is a complex algorithm written in the background which will read. So this data will be sent it to the server and in the server all the calculation will happen and finally you get the output on your UI path. Okay. So AI computer vision is all about is about all that so you need to have internet connection so that it does that immediate calculation and gives you the report back what you need okay now the next thing is an algorithm that enables human like recognition using the sum of all of this things that we have just learned okay now the good thing about this is you don't have to do anything it all happens in the behind the scene or it is all happening in the background now you'll ask me Rakesh which are the real places where I'll be using so image uh, fine couple of times we have to work on images but what is the actual usage so let me tell you when you open a virtual desktop environment on your laptop or on your desktop right for example Citrix VMware right so all of this will open in its own application right VMware application or Citrix application it will open in within that now let's say UiPath Studio is installed on your laptop but your browser that you're opening uh, sorry uh, the VMware that you're opening it is again a different application within which you have multiple applications right so laptop within that another laptop so in such cases normally in a virtual desktop environment you would not be able to choose any application right it will act as if it is an image so in such cases you will have to use ai computer vision now the biggest problem here you will tell i don't have a vdi so how will i practice this correct so this is not easy to practice because we don't have a virtual desk not everybody will have a virtual desktop interface to practice ai vision so for that let let me make it more easy so what you do how do i practice so first of all let's understand uh, we got an understanding of what is ai computer vision Right now what I'm going to do, I'm going to open an application called UI Demo. So UI Demo, you guys may be aware, in case you don't have this application, go to my channel and on the channel just type sample application. On my channel homepage, go to videos and search for sample application. So there is a um, link 
uh, all these uh, sources are from UiPath Academy. We have got it at one place so that you can download and learn. Okay, so download this UI demo or it is also known as any teller. Okay, any teller application. So download that and you will be able to practice. Okay, now what I'm going to do with this application is I'm going to keep it like this and I'm going to take a print screen, take a print screen of this application for our artificial intelligence. Uh, computer vision practice I will take a print screen of this particular application because nobody will I mean most of you will not have a VDI right so if I give you an example of VDI then you will not be able to practice because you don't have one okay so this is a, another way just to learn and understand okay for our understanding purpose so let me take a print screen now open paint so we have to learn right we can't skip the topic we have to learn so i have taken a print screen and copied into the paint okay so once you do this what you do go to ui path studio now we first of all we want to understand let's say i'm using a simple click activity this is a simple click activity this is the computer vision click activity okay so if i simply use a click activity and click on indicate on screen what is happening it is completely highlighting everything okay it is not able to click on a specific element let's say i want to figure out cash in how much i want to figure out honest check or i want to figure out so this is not giving my giving me option to click on a specific element it is entirely selecting the entire application isn't it so so this is not good so what we have to do we have to use computer vision so for computer vision what i'm going to do you have to how to use computer vision activity so first of all if it is your very first time just type cv so if you are typing cv if you do not see computer vision activities the very first thing you should do is you have to install if i am highlighting on any activity in bold letter it is written right uipath dot ui automation dot activities okay so this is what you have to search so manage packages and here go to all packages and type uipath dot automation ui path what was the name ui path dot ui automation activities okay simply go and type that ui path dot ui automation so this is the activity you have to install okay in case you do not see that in case there are certain chances depending on the version of ui path studio you are using you can also look for ui path dot ai if you don't find with ui path dot ui just type ai okay for me it is not coming if that if that is the case then look for uipath.ai.computervision okay so try and get this package installed so once your package is installed you will find all the computer vision activities okay so remember your computer vision activity works with cv screen scope so this is a mandatory activity so cv screen scope within that you can drag and drop all other activities okay so this is very very important so once you drag and drop what happens there is an engine so there will be lot many different engines for example if you type ocr there will be multiple engines for example microsoft ocr so by default microsoft will be there so depending on your um, usability you choose one so for me Tesseract works best. So I am going with the Tesseract. So you can remove, you can delete whatever is there and then drag and drop this one over here. Okay. So that is how you select your engine. Okay. If this engine doesn't work, then you have option to go with other engines depending on your requirement. Done. Now the next thing what I am going to do, this CV screen scope will ask for two different things. Okay. It will ask for API key and it will ask for URL. Okay. So what I am going to do, by default, it will be blank for you. There will be nothing here. So it is asking for an API key and CV screen scope is asking for an API key and also asking for a URL. So what, how do you give this URL and API key? So please make a note. How do you provide the, so URL is very simple. Just in double quotes type HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash CV computer vision dot uipath.com. So this is the common one okay so this is the this is the place where whatever you are indicating it is send that data to this particular server and it will process your data okay process your whatever application or image you are giving it is going to process that 
with the artificial intelligence okay so you will define that and once you do this it is asking for a api key now for api key what will you do you go to your cloud.uipart.com okay click on admin simple go to cloud.uipart.com and click on admin just give me a second all right now here in the admin page you have something called uh, licenses click on licenses okay now here you will find something called other services okay if you are in the community edition it might be slightly different options just click on all the options under the license you will find so click on other services and here in the other services by default if you are doing it for the very first time it will be blank nothing will be there so click on generate new click on yes would you like to override say yes so it will generate a key and a key will be available over here okay if you have it blank so for me i have already done it so i am going to copy api key that's all okay simple and then go back to your studio and in the api key field put a double code and paste it that's all so now you are connected with the server done next thing what you do click on indicate on screen and you have to indicate the image that you have taken right i have taken this image so let me indicate so what i want is right now it is going to indicate everything because it is the entire scope right so let it indicate everything okay now it is going to analyze so remember if you are using a microsoft ocr and with this method what i am teaching you if it fails it throws an error then try to use tesseract okay if not try to use so just try to toggle and try to see which one does not give you an error okay so depending on what engine will be able to do its job so this time there is no error right tesseract is working fine for me but if i use microsoft ocr it was giving error okay fine now what i'm going to do i have to use the cv activities okay cv so here just for our understanding i am going to use the highlight activity you can use click uh, all of this different activities you can try but for our understanding you go with highlight okay first of all how i am teaching you follow that then you try out your own methods so now i am using cv highlight so here I, what i am going to do i am click on indicate on scope and i am going to highlight this particular option okay so it should it should be able to highlight this particular button so the moment i click on indicate and select that element it is automatically selecting a an anchor for me so it is automatically so this is an image but it's automatically recognizing what could be the best anchor automatically it does for me okay very good and the here you can change your highlight time let me make it so that it can stay for a longer time and you can change your color to any color you need for example if i want red okay red done so now it should be able to highlight that specific element for me inside the image so this is the image okay so let's see so let me run it and you need to wait for couple of seconds okay before it could do its job because it will process right so it works from the server it is trying to process recognize and do the job for you through artificial intelligence so we'll have to wait for a couple of seconds okay you saw 400 is highlighted for me getting it so this is how the computer vision works now there are a couple of more things that you need to know okay how to use this how to use this we have to know isn't it so let me do one thing here again let me click on edit on screen okay click on edit on screen or simply hit on e the moment you do this it gives you an option let's say i don't want this as an anchor so if you click on this x symbol okay so it highlights all the elements okay all the similar or duplicate elements okay or false similar elements are being highlighted now what i am going to do i wanted to make this as an anchor let's say okay wait for that green signal okay so here what is saying duplicate matches try adding another anchor why it is saying duplicate matches for this one so if you see here on us check on us check there are two things so this is becoming giving a red one the red one means is incorrect so let me remove this 
okay and now let me select not on as check if i make this as an anchor duplicate match so both of this are not working so if i select both of them duplicate matches try adding another anchor so both of this are at the moment not functioning so what i'm going to do let me put some other anchor let's see okay so this shows a green signal very near to my this one now you will say it is highly possible this account number might change right every transaction every image will be different so i want to only highlight account dot hash yes even that can be done what you do close this okay and highlight until just drag and drop okay like you highlight any text just drag and drop so it is automatically highlighting for me okay if it is incorrect again you can try it again for example uh, okay this is good all right so this is the moment you see a green uh, target and anchor are okay so that means is a good one so you can also have double anchors just to make sure everything is correct so this time there are double anchors so green signal means your anchor and your target element is in perfect sync so if you are having a red kind of a thing then it's a problem there is also another way let's say i don't want this way you, you can also select a image so image for example i am selecting the space also okay if i simply drag and drop like this 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 becomes a kind of a image okay sometimes even the images will help you you know certain areas where you are not able to highlight the element even you can go with the image so let me try this fine so this will act like a image so there are various ways that we are going to come up with the video where you are going to learn how to work with this so there there are various options okay uh, refresh after delay so element so all of this we are going to learn with lot of examples but i hope this must have given you an idea of what is a computer vision and where you will be using it generally this is used in a virtual desktop interface okay so in the virtual for for automation within the virtual desktop interface ai computer vision is very very helpful okay so that's all for this video we will come up with the next videos thank you so much have a great day